Hey guys, this is Mike Jones, and welcome to Tabletop Simulator, and holy cow, I just ruined the game. Oh well. Um, I am going to show you a game I made. I made everything on this except for the board right here. I did not make that. Whoops. Let's undo that. But anyway, um, so yeah, I've made, well, I didn't make the cars either, but all racing game cars are basically kind of the same. Anyways, uh, I made everything else, and this is a racing game, a Formula One game, where you control two cars, and after the race you get points, and whoever gets the most points wins, counting both their cars. So, it's possible to win the race and get last and still maybe not win all the points. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know if you guys are into this, but if you want to learn more, uh, continue watching, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you guys think, because I... Obviously, this is very early. Let me know if you would like me to actually finish a game like this because it's still not completely done. But anyway, these are actions you do on your turn. So no matter what, you move both cards, and these are things that you spend. And that's the cubes, and these cubes represent different things. So blue represents suspension. Um, purple represents chassis. Green represents gearbox. Yellow represents brakes engines for red, fuel for orange, and black for tires. That's what we're doing at the moment. These are resource dice that you roll that you could do and uh, you can get race cards and event cards that can happen. So at the beginning of your turn you can either choose two of the different resources that are available or draw a race card. So a race card can give you a uh, a good bonus or maybe not who knows events happen and can cause safety cars and cars to spin out there is no DNFs yet in this game because I didn't really want player elimination so yeah let's get into it how to start is you roll the dice so red will start and red gets a nine and now we'll go with yellow I'm gonna do a three player game yellow gets a seven and blue gets a seven, so red will go first. So if you start first, you'll also start last. And then we'll go, uh, we'll go blue and then yellow. So yellow's gonna start right there. So it's gonna go red, blue, yellow, four turns, and all you do is just take your turn, and then the next one takes their turn, and they take their turn. So yeah, uh, now we only need one dice, so I'll just throw that somewhere. And so for an event card to get drawn, you need to roll uh, four, five, or six every time we roll these. So you have a 50% chance every time you roll new resources that an uh, uh, event gets drawn. But uh, you'll learn as we go. I'm just going to show you a little bit. I'll explain everything. And uh, hopefully this game looks interesting. And if you guys have Tabletop Simulator on Steam, let me know in the comments. And maybe we can play it and you can test it out if you want. Alright. So, to start with, now we're going to go through everybody. And they get to start with two resources. So, red gets to roll and then pick two resources. Uh, this one right here represents an orange or a black, so you get to choose one or the other. All the rest are solid colors. Um, so just to make it easy, they're probably going to start with an orange and a black. Since, so they can take the black from this one and the uh, orange from this one. Now yellow, we'll roll these. Ooh. Yellow's gonna do. Let's change it up. Yellow will take a suspension at a time. And then, last but not least, blue. I should have did blue, whatever. Uh, ooh, two chassis. We'll change it up some more. We'll take both chassis. From here. Drafting is really good in this game, and it only costs one to do a movement of four. Uh, we'll go over the actions as we go through. The best you can move is a 6 right here, hit limiter. And the worst you can do is conserve, but you get a resource, an extra resource. And it's free, but you only move one turn. Normal costs 3, but you don't get that resource. So, yeah. 
So now we start the game. Every time a resource is used, it's put off to the side until all of them are used up. So before we start... Oh, no event, no event on the first roll, by the way. Okay, so... This is now Red's turn, and these are the resources on. So Red now picks two things to do. So first with the front car. Well, actually, before that, he's going to decide if he wants to draw two resources or a race card. Um, hmm. I think Red is going to draw a race card to start with. And that's a free block, which stops other players from uh, moving past you. <coughs> oh, I had to sneeze. Alright, so he picks a card instead, and now he can spend these two to do a push action, which costs... which gives you four move here, and, well, that didn't go where I wanted it, and it costs an orange and a black, so right there. Alright, so he will go three, one, two, three, four, I mean four, four for a push, not three. And then the other one, he doesn't have any other resources, so he's just going to go one and get a resource card and he'll take a chassis. I really think chassis are overpowered at least now. Then he ends his turn, and now it's Blue's turn. Blue doesn't want to draft because he'll be helping other cars, I'll explain how that moves when I do it. But a push is a normal move. And uh, so you just move your car like normal, but you go for spaces. Um, hmm. Blue doesn't have any way of getting any tires, so he won't be able to do anything too fancy unless he wants to help Yellow out. So he'll also take a race car. Steal knowledge. Oh, by the way, I forgot to explain this. You cannot use your race card the same turn that you drew it, so he can use this at any time on his next turn. Uh, the blocks happen off your turn, so it doesn't really matter. So, he draws a Steel Knowledge card. And I th think it'd just be smart to do a normal move. One, two, three. It's going to be kind just in case so that you can possibly draft later. And one, two, three. Since, since it's free for a normal movement. Normal is plus three, and it's free. Okay, so that's his turn. Yellow. Yellow can spend both of these, but that is a fast turn, but you must touch a turn, and uh, Yellow can't touch a turn in five moves, because that will only put them up to here, and the turns are obviously these areas where the track isn't straight. Um, so yeah, so he can't actually do that, but he can buy this and this. So he chooses to not buy a, that was a purple by the way. He chooses to not get a race card and instead takes two resources. So remember, you can either take two resources or uh, do event cards. And it's really nice to grab the resources because you have a chance, uh, I mean not event cards, race card or, or two resources and it's really good to take the last resource because you have a chance of drawing an event and there's some events that bo that benefit the player that drew it so you'll see when we get there um, so yellow yellow can do some interesting stuff here he can push if he wants to spend these two he cannot draft or close the gap I'll explain that later and he can't use a suspension right now does he want to push or does he want to take both of these cards? I think he's going to push with one of them. So we'll do this guy for, it uh, doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four. And then this guy has to conserve, so he's going to go one to get behind blue. Hopefully blue will trap next turn. And because he conserved, he takes an extra one, and he already has a blue, so he might as well take a yellow. Another thing I forgot to explain, you can spend any, well I was playing two but I was thinking about changing it to three, but at the moment you can spend any two for one. So if I wanted to use, uh, let's say this one that costs a yellow and a black, I could spend a purple and a blue to count as a black, two for one of any, basically. 
All right. Um, so yeah, that's yellow's turn. Now we're back to red. It's really fast. It is really fast, actually. If if you were playing with multiple people, since I'm explaining and stuff, obviously it's slower. Um, red is going to take this, and he also gets to roll the dice because he still gets to take one more. No event happens because it's a one. And he gets to take another card. And uh, yikes, those are all terrible for him. He's gonna go with an engine, probably. And yeah, so he can draft with the leaders, but that's really gonna help Blue, and I don't know if he wants to do that. He does have a block, though. Spend on blue later, plus a block card, so he'll do that. He's gonna spend this to draft with the leader. A draft action costs a purple and you move four. But you must be, oh sorry, that's close to get. You must move other cars in a line, so you must be in line. Because red is in line with blue, both of them move four. So one, two, three, four, and blue just falls in four. So it's really good if you get your teammates like, if Red were to get both his cars in line, the draft gets really overpowered. But it's actually kind of painful when not because of that. Uh, the next card is just going to conserve, and he'll take a resource, and he'll take another one. So he can to get oh, excuse me. Alright, yellow. Or, sorry, blue. Oh, and blue can now steal knowledge if he wants to. You can see what the other players have. Um, but first he wants to decide if he's going to do this or draw another race card. And about half, a little bit less than half of the race cards are still knowledge cards. There's some that are boosts that move you seven, like, we'll go over all that. Probably, um, wow. He can actually draft again knowing that red's going to, uh, do something. That would be pretty smart. Uh, yeah, he's gonna take a race card. And it's a boost. So he can't play it this turn because he just drew it, but uh, seven spaces is a ridiculous amount. It's probably an overpowered card, honestly. There's five of those in the uh, race card deck, by the way. So because he drew a card, he doesn't get any resources. He's gonna spend one of these to draft the same thing that Red did. But so Red will go one, two, three, four, five. And then he will, or sorry, four, and then he will follow suit. And in this one, he can draft again, which he will, because of the yellow card behind him. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And uh, if he really wanted to, he could still knowledge, but uh, I don't think he wants to yet, because you don't really want to use it unless you're going to benefit off of it. Yellow. Yellow can draft right here and help him catch up to blue but uh, also what else would he want to do not getting very many tire cards in fact that would be really good because I can show you close the gap so yeah he'll take a draft card and shoot I don't know I think blue's probably better than yellow just because they both do plus five but blue also gives you a chance of blocking so yeah so he takes two resources he's gonna draft with this guy which makes them go for four. One, two, three, four. And he'll follow suit. Then his back car is going to spend a purple cube to do close the gap right here. If you're more than four spaces behind the car in front, you go four spaces. So it's a really good catch up type of card. So since he is one, two, three, four, five spaces behind, he can go one, two, three, four, and catch right up. Now they're in boom. They're in a really good position to draft with each other. So uh, yellow's in a really good position now. Now we go back to red. Holy cow, he's in front, but he's also in last. Uh, red is going to pick the last resource again and then get to roll the dice again. And, whoa, we get some interesting stuff. It's a two, so no event. Wow. Uh, just to show you this, he's going to take two oranges. So I can show you the... Uh, Push the limits, or whatever the card is called. In fact, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well, the next guy can. I'll show you the other thing. Um, so yeah. So 
for the first guy, we're going to do this one called Hit Limiter. It costs one engine or red and two oranges, which are fueled. So he has that right here. Spends all that, and he goes plus six. So he goes one, two, three, four, five, six. This white line right here represents a DRS zone. If you watch Formula One, if you are within one second behind the car in front of you, you get to activate your DRS and that will uh, reduce your drag so you'll go faster on the straightaway. So if you're not in the lead on this game and you pass that zone, you go one extra space. So it's kind of a extra catch up. Same thing for here, but this really doesn't matter unless you're uh, on this one since it's the end because uh, we're only doing one lap. If you were to do multiple laps, then it would matter back here too. So, yeah. Uh, this isn't my board anyways, so if I actually make the game, this will not be the actual board. I'll probably make it smaller, honestly. There's a lot of spaces in this. But anyway, we moved that one. Now this guy back here can spend this to close the gap. So he'll go four spaces. One, two, three, four. End the turn. Blue. Blue is going to take an engine and a... Uh, green is a gearbox and that way I can show you skip gears so skip gears cost green and red but you must touch a turn but you go six um, so that's what he's gonna do uh, this guy will go one two three four five six because he passed DRS he can go seven and he was able to use that card because he did pass this turn right here um, this next guy, all he, well, he actually, he can use the boost, so he'll use boost. So he'll spend the boost card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, just one away, or else he would have got to boost up there. But blue is on fire, and we're getting close to halfway. This game is pretty fast still, so, yeah. Yellow is going to take this dice and gets to re-roll all of them. So took the last one. And an event happens because of a six, so you automatically do the safety car. Line everybody up single file, and it's now the leader's turn. So he just basically lost his turn. Uh, if there's a tie, the next inside line takes it so red would technically still be in the lead and everybody gets lined up single file behind him so this safety car was actually bad for red because it helped the cars catch up behind him but it was also good because it helped his back car catch up and it actually really hurt blue because he got moved back so that's what happens after a safety car and now it is back to red's turn to just start his regular turn so Safety car automatically stops the turn that it was drawn on and goes to the new leader's space. So it's basically like a caution flag in NASCAR or whatever if you guys uh, don't know F1 as much. Oh, man. Uh, he'll take a green and a red. And he could use that on this guy. So his leader is just going to do a normal three, one, two, three because it's free. And then his back guy, since he's going through a corner, can do the six, which is skip gears. That costs a red and green. And he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven because he passes DRS. And I forgot one other thing he could have done. Um, if you're on a start or a restart, which this would be considered a restart, you can spend one gearbox as a launch to go four, but he wanted to go six, so he spent both of those. All right, so that was red's turn. Blue. Thanks. What does Blue want to do? I guess since he's in this position, might as well take a tire and a suspension. Ooh, okay, and I think since he's in line to draft with himself, he's actually just going to conserve. And, uh, ooh, actually, no, because if he conserves. This guy gets a boost from going to uh, for DRS, so that's actually not good. Uh, he wants a chance of rolling the event. Oops, that was red. He wants a chance of rolling an event, though, so... Yikes. 
He's gonna go one, two, three with this guy, and then one, and then an extra one for hitting DRS for passing this line. So, so since he conserved on one, and he did a regular, so since he conserved, he gets to draw this card, and so he still gets a uh, chance of rolling a s event, and he does. New event. Hard breaks. So blocks cost one more suspension, which is a blue card while this card's in place. So from now on, this block now costs two cubes to do instead of one, which is only in play until another event gets played, and then we'll go over it. So like when another one gets played over it, it'll be covered. So yeah, only one event in play at a time, and that's the end of his turn. So now we go to red, yellow, red, yellow, just yellow. Uh, yellow's definitely going to draft and other things that are going to do decent. Um, he'll take a black and orange. And then at first he'll draft, which costs that, and they go four. One, two, three, four, five, because they both passed the DRS. Oh, and then his last guy was going to do something, but he's boxed in, so he might as well just uh, do a regular conserve because he can't move, and so he'll take a resource. In this case, we'll take a tire. That was a, that was a tire um, because he can't move, but that's okay because they both moved five spaces, which is a lot. But so far, it it's keeps the cards close, so I think it's kind of pretty close to being balanced correctly. If Red wanted to use this block, he could have blocked both of these cards. Cards back here, which probably would have been smart, because he does have this block card, but he also has this to spin. Or no, he can't, because hard blocks. Blocks cost one more. But this card is free, so he could have done that. But anyway, Red's turn. He'll take the yellow and a tire. Oops. Yeah. And then he gets to roll them all because that was all of them. And no event comes. He already drew his two. And ooh, so the lead car will most likely hit the corner. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, the lead card will touch the corner. So he'll spend these two. And what these two do? Oops. Uh, yellow and black is a late break and you must touch a turn and you go plus five so he will go one two three four five and he did touch a corner so that was a valid move his back card does he want to go three or does he want a resource because if he just does one he's probably gonna get passed by everybody so he's gonna go one two three now he can use this block card to block everybody. Red is in a very good position now. And uh, blue knows that red's going to block probably. So that's going to make this turn pretty interesting. Let's see. What does blue want? Probably a green and a purple. So... Blue could go one, two, three, four, five. Can't quite go six, but he can barely get to this corner. So it would be valid to spend these to do a shift gears, which goes six and you have to touch a corner. Or he can do this, which is a fast turn and you go five. But does he know red's going to block? He knows red's going to block, but he needs to use red's block up. So he's going to spend these two. And that will go five, one. But red will block and spend his card to block. Now his other guy can't do any of that, but he can do one, two, three. To being up there. In fact, he could go three like this and get in front of the cars next to him. That way, if the yellow drafts, it will push blue. So you kind of want to be in line with people too, as long as you don't block yourself. Uh, yellow's turn. And uh, 
I think I'm going to skip now until we hit anything new or closer to the end. So if any uh, launch, I've actually went over everything already. So yeah, I'm going to skip a little bit and we'll get closer to the end. All right, let's uh, come back. So I did uh, about uh, two more rounds through people. We just got an event card. So red spins. Yellow is the color that drew it, so he gets to choose which red car, and of course he's going to take the leader. When you're spun out, you basically get skipped a turn. And uh, he picked one resource, but he gets to pick another one. Obviously he'll pick that so he could draft with himself. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, you can only have a total of 10 cubes at a time in your storage. Uh, blue has nine right now so he's been taking race cards but anyway i was gonna also go over this race card that yellow got take any two resources from the bank one two three four five six seven eight he could do that in fact that is overpowered so that's what he's gonna do if you're spun out you can't even block so he, red would be able to block, but he can't. So he's going to take two resources from the bank. He's going to take a red. In fact, no. I was thinking that. This is overpowered. He's going to take a purple and a red. All right. So literally for both of his moves, he can spend that for both of them and both of them can draft so they're gonna move four and then four one two three four one two three four and it also moves the cars behind him and then in this case that there's two you choose and it doesn't really matter when they're both blue so boom one two three four and then the back guy drafts so one two three four red cannot block because he spun out or else he could have spent a suspension to block which he does have it's the blue right here but uh, he couldn't do that so yellow just moved both of his guys eight but he also helped th move these guys eight too so he kind of didn't completely help himself but he did take the lead and basically second because red is spun out so that was a really good move and that only cost two cubes and he gained four so pretty pretty good off uh, red's in some bad trouble now so this guy skips his turn no matter what this guy, he doesn't really want to draft because he'll be helping yellow out too much. So He is going to take an orange and a red. That way he can do a hit limiter. So the first guy skips his turn, spins around, and I'm very dumb. He's stuck behind him, so that was a dumb move. Ugh. Does he want to spend spend this to help yellow because that's actually going to hurt himself yeah I don't think so so he's going to conserve he'll take a tire token and move one but he's blocked so that was still not a very good move alright let's skip ahead until we get near the end alright here's another thing so blue is about to draft he's going to spend his token to draft and he will go one, but now he just linked up with these cars in front, so it will be two, three, four. And all of them go, if that makes sense. So he drafted with red, caught up to the pack in front, and then had to draft with those, because you can only go straight. It's not like he could go around. Plus, there's only one space for these. And it's really good if these guys work together to draft up to yellow, because yellow's trying to block them in the corner by um, letting his first guy take off and then the other one reserve. Now that this guy's behind, he would like to do something to get there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven spaces away. He ain't gonna get there now. He already spent a card. You can only play one card per turn. Um, in this case, can push but why would he do that when uh, close the gap cost four so if to make a purple he can spend a 
two of any other color, that will equal a purple. So this guy goes four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're back. Uh, Blue is the luckiest person alive. He just drew a safety car while he was fifth and sixth. That's insane. Um, because yellow is spun out, he wasn't in a crash though, so he will continue to take second, third, fourth. So blue just drew a safety car, which actually probably killed him, because now we're going back to yellow's turn. Blue just skipped it. Yikes. Uh, now we're at the end. I might as well finish it and see what happens. Wow. Uh, yellow's definitely going to grab that. And... Might as well grab another fuel for some reason. Who knows? So he'll definitely draft. One, two, three, four doesn't quite finish yet um, and that drafted every single person but his second one he can do this which is a hit limiter and go six so this guy goes Neil and he gets first which will be worth 25 points so yellow just probably killed his other guy from getting second he probably shouldn't have did that move because now red's just going to zoom by and they can uh, DRS each other too. So that might not have been too smart. There's no reason to draw race cards because they want to finish on this turn. So he's going to draw a fuel and a tire. And that is red. Yellow can block because he can spend these two to block and he's going to have to. So, red is going to first spend this, which is a push, which is four, one, and two, but yellow blocks spending his last two resources. So red gets stuck. But he's got a second guy. He's got a tire. And he can spend two of anything, which will be these two. In fact, it'll be these two, so he can keep these to block. So, he's going to spend a tire and then two to equal a fuel to push again. Which will be one, two, three, four. It would have been smarter for him to actually draft because it could have helped yellow but, or blue win. But too late for that. So, he just got second. Blue. Holy cow, what's blue going to do here? Oh man, if all he has to do is draft and he dominates, but remember, red can block twice. Yikes, this is going to be interesting. Uh, by the way, if you block a draft, you have to block the lead car. You can't block the other ones because they're like, but... So... Blue definitely doesn't want a uh, event card, so he will draw a race card even though he knows he can't use it this turn. He's also going to spend his... his in fact, no. He's going to spend his Monopoly card, which you name a resource and all players must give you all they have. He's going to name Suspension, which are the two blue ones. So this player must give him all of their Suspension. And now none of them have any resources. They both cannot block. Holy cow. This is where it gets good. Now... He's going to spend two of anything to equal a purple, and then two of anything else to equal another purple. And boom. One, one, two, three, four, five. In fact, I guess I couldn't do that because he just finished. This guy drafted up to here. Uh, so he can't draft because his teammate's done. But uh, we'll do an engine and then... Two of these to equal a fuel, and two of these to equal a fuel, and that's six. To move six, so blue zooms by and finishes four. This is going to be close. Now it's yellow's turn, and uh, there's absolutely no reason to take that, but he'll take that. And then there is a chance of an event coming out, which oops, will be pretty interesting if it does. Uh, let me roll that again, because that was good. Okay. No, no event. Uh, he's just going to take this and draft, and what that will do, he'll spend his draft, zoom, zoom, and that is the race. 
So now we tally up the points. So yellow won, but because yellow finished back here, did he win? That's how many points you get. Um, so let's do this. Yellow. Yellow gets 25 plus 10, which is 30 points. Oh, my bad. 35. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. Uh, yes. 35 points. Duh. Red. Gets 18 plus 8, which is 26, I believe. Red did not do too well. And blue gets 15 plus 12, which is 7 and then 2. So 27 for blue. So yellow ends up winning it all. Blue second and red third, even though red actually got second place in the race. Blue is more consistent. Man, even if yellow got last and red finished up here yellow still would have won so for somebody else to finish second they needed to to get uh, both a second and a third so holy cow so yeah yellow wins and that's the game I think I explained everything now we can go over a couple other things like race cards that I didn't go over dump if you're next to somebody you can spin them out we did use that once but I didn't go over it uh, we went over boosts. We went over steel knowledge. Event. This one allows you to draw two events cards and choose one. Uh, this one allows you to start a safety card anytime you want whenever you play it. New parts allows you to take two from the bank. I think we did go over that. And we went over block. We just went over monopoly, event, steel knowledge, steel knowledge. This might be all of them. I actually have, how many do I have race cards? I have 31, or 29. Oh, here we go. I have 31, but I actually had 40, but I changed the game, and so uh, nine of them need to be redone. But they will be back later, or some other time. Event cards, we got strong rubber that makes you pay one less tire. Draft that lets you draft plus one movement. Using less fuel lets you, you spend one less fuel. DRS Thin Air lets you go an extra space when you DRS instead of two, which, holy cow, the burning fuel makes you pay two fuel instead of one. Cool weather costs one less engine. Electronics down. Um, you gain no resources. Um, in fact, I think this card needs to be redone. Uh, yeah. So this card is trash. It needs to be redone. Uh, grippy track is spend one last. Cars move one more space if they turn in a corner. Okay. Crash. Crash is one that's fun, but we never drew one. The player that drew the card picks any group of cars. So let's say that. Uh, these guys were adjacent to each other. We had a car here and a car here and a car here. Since this right here is a group of cars, they would pick this and all three of these guys would all get spun out because they're all adjacent to each other. But if there was two groups of cars that were adjacent, like this were two, and let's say Blue took it. Blue doesn't want to spin out his own guy, so he'll pick this group of cars and both of these two will spin out. If that makes any sense, that's how Crash works. Uh, slick track, one less if you touch a corner. Burning tires cost an extra tire. A car spins out, you just choose a car and spin it out. Easy blocks. Uh, basically makes blocks free, which that one needs to be redone too. Because blocks should not be free. Because <laughs> then nobody will pass anybody. Uh, purple spins. There isn't even purple in the game. The car spins out. Yellow spins. No draft, so you can't even use the draft cards. No race cards, so you can't play any race cards while that event. Uh, another spin out. No DRS, so you're not allowed to, to uh, get the boost. 
Another draft plus one green spins, another safety car, leader spins, safety car, orange spins, crash, car spins, crash, safety car, blue spins, car spins out, and this card is actually trash. So we have 36 events when I think I'm supposed to have 40. And 31 race cards when I started with 40. If you guys want me to go over the first version of this game before I redid it all and added dice, I can do that. Or if you have any questions, we can uh, you can go over those in the comments. Or if you want to play, hit me up. Let me know what you guys think about this video. This was interesting and different for sure. Uh, like and subscribe for more. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.